Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we're gonna be checking in on my no time traveling island. I'm actually a little nervous to see it. I haven't played on this island in quite some time. My son has kind of taken over. If you didn't see one of my recent videos, I let him make a character on my island. He has started playing, and honestly, he's been playing on this island more than I have. Uh, we are going to make him his own island, I think, but I need to check in on this one because I do really love this island. I miss playing just the day-to-day -day stuff, but I'm a little scared that it might be too far gone at this point, especially the flower situation. I think it's going to be out of control. So we're going to check in on the island, see how it's going. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Good morning, Isabel. How is it going? Right now on Vanilla, it's 10, 19 a.m. on Tuesday, July 26th. Ooh, we got some announcements today. Ooh, a visitor at the campsite. Okay, cool. Yay. I love having a good visitor at the campsite. That's always fun. <laughs> okay, here we are. Now, I will say I'm impressed that he hasn't figured out how to destroy all of this. I did see a couple tiles missing that's fine he's kicked up some tiles probably on accident if i'm being honest um i don't think this box was supposed to be here i think he might have put that there i really i really don't even remember because it's been so long since i've been here <laughs> so if you don't know this is my no time traveling island i have not been time traveling I did start decorating it and we had kind of planned on doing a Sanrio theme. That's what I was going with. But because I'm not time traveling, there is so much work that goes into this. Am I losing my interest in the Sanrio stuff? I really don't know. I like what I've done so far. Okay, let's check in over here. What do we have going on? That's not a rose. No. Oh, dang it. I thought for a second that that was a blue rose and it's not. It's just another silly windflower. So we've been hitting some trees and not collecting anything. We have, we have bugs and fish everywhere. We've got we've got stuff everywhere. He really likes. Oh my gosh. We've got fruit. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. What am I gonna do about this? There's so much going on. There's so much going on. Okay, I feel like we've seen the majority of what's going on on the island. So before we decide on what we wanna do, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, GlassesUSA.com. GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middleman, which means you can shop for your glasses for up to 70% off retail price. They offer over 9,000 prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses for you to choose from, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, but they also have designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Oakley, so many things to choose from. They make it so easy to shop online with a risk-free shopping experience, free shipping, free returns, and a 100% money-back guarantee. Plus, they have so many different services online to help you choose the glasses that you want, including an online quiz, which you can take to lead you in the right direction. They also have a prescription scanner app. If you don't have your prescription handy, you can scan your glasses and it will show you the prescription that you currently have. Plus, my favorite is the virtual try-on tool. You can upload a picture and it will show you what the frames look like on your face. These frames that I'm wearing right now are some of my favorites. They are the Muse Hilary Duff Clara in the color pink. I absolutely love them. I love the pop of pink. I think it's so fun to play around with different glasses. Another pair that I have are these. These are the Muse Elixir and they're kind of a sage green color. I love the simplicity of these. Plus, they also have the blue light blocking lenses, so I feel completely comfortable wearing them while I'm working at my computer all day. And the last ones I wanted to show you are these sunglasses, the Amelia E. Alexis. I love these. When I get my sunglasses, I like to go with a little bit of a bigger frame to really protect my eyes and my face, and I love the shape of these. 
So be sure to let me know down in the comments below which frames were your favorite, if you were interested in any of the frames that I had on today, or if you wanted to go pick out some of your own, I'll have all that information linked down in the description for you. Thank you so much again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and get back into the current state of my island. All right, what do we do? <laughs> I've got some Nook Miles to collect. Let's go ahead and get those. Okay, we've got all of our reaction Nook Miles. We have quite a bit of Nook Miles. What's in my pockets? Bunch of trees, random stuff. Maybe I could go ahead and start digging up flowers to kind of clear out this section. I don't really know. Wait, I don't think I looked at this. Oh, oh my gosh. So our rainbow garden is out of control. It is definitely out of control. Our farms are still in good shape. <laughs> we have wood everywhere. We're gonna just start cleaning up. How about that? Let's just clean up all of, all of the stuff that my child has dropped on the ground. <laughs> Cause it's just so much, it's just too much. There's too much going on. We need to get it sorted out. Why are there shoes over here? Hello? Why did you put shoes on the beach? He doesn't know. So, okay, let's talk a little bit about the future of his island. I think what I wanna do is create an island for him on one of my switches and then move it over to his switch light so he can just play on that. Because right now, this island is on my Animal Crossing switch and it really, it stresses me out when he's playing on it because He's so forceful with the button pushes. And I'm like, I really don't want him to break it. <laughs> I really don't want him to break it. So I think that's my plan. Why do I have so many? Oh, we did the fishing tournament. Last time I was on this island, I was doing the fishing tournament. That's how long it's been. Oh, no wonder I have this fish in here. Okay, we're just gonna put him away because I don't have the patience. Uh, I'm going to put all of this away and even maybe the watering can because I think digging is going to be our number one top priority. Let's also, I would like to check in on nooks. I'm going to plant these bushes. He also really likes to move my bushes and sell my bushes to Timmy and Tommy. He's already told me that he wants to name his island Dino Land. We'll see if he sticks with that. He typically, um, he doesn't normally stick with things like that, but we'll see. We'll see if he decides to keep that and which I think will be really cute. So I don't know how far along I would like to get that island for him because if I'm being honest, I don't think he would like the beginning game stuff, like the really, really beginning. He wants to be able to run around. He's told me that he wants to have pumpkins and he wants to have all the crops and everything. He also said that he wants to have some beautiful flowers. <laughs> he always has to specify. He doesn't want ugly flowers. He wants beautiful flowers. So I wanna make sure he has a bunch of flowers on there, especially the blue ones. He really likes blue flowers. So I think I will try to make like a very basic island put it together for him probably on stream so be sure that you're subscribed you have your notifications turned on if you want to watch me streaming we'll try to do that really soon put together an island for my son i'll even i think i'm even gonna have people come over and they can gift him different things that they think that he would like and we'll put out a bunch of cool stuff i think that'll be really fun um, to just put out a bunch of stuff that we think that he would like. No rules on that island. I'm going to time travel. I'm going to do all the things because I don't think he will care about that. But then I do think I will have him play day to day. He's already learned the trials and tribulations of the shop being closed. <laughs> 
at certain times. Like he'll wake up really early in the morning and he'll wanna play. So I'll let him play for a little bit and the shop is closed and he's like, why is it, why is it dark? I'm just like, mm, that's how it goes. That's how it goes if you play this early. So I would love to know, let me know down in the comments what you think he would like on his island. So we can kind of start brainstorming some different ideas. Um, he's into like dinosaurs, robots. In the game, he's into like flowers and all of that stuff. What am I gonna do with all of this stuff? Do I go put it next to his house? <laughs> like here's all your stuff. Keep it over here. <laughs> what do I do with it? I don't know. I think there's a bunch of stuff he would actually like in the game if he saw it. He really likes to try on different outfits. So I think getting him some cool outfits would be nice. There's a lot of stuff. I think it's gonna be really fun to put together an island for him. And then I'll obviously do a reaction video of, oh, he upgraded his house, that's right. He did upgrade his house. He finally got to 5,000 Nook Miles and he picked a blue roof really cute. I never picked the blue, so I like that. Uh, we're going to try to drop this stuff near his house because it's his. I don't want it. Um, but the fish and bug, I may sell the fish and bugs and give him the money. That could be a plan. Okay, let's do that. Oh, he did have a star net though. Let's drop that. Okay sounds good <laughs> um what else do i want to talk about let's just have a little chat a little chit chat we were talking today on my podcast uh that i do with sean the nintendo drive we were talking about achievements so if you've never played on another console they do have um these things called achievements that are like outside of the game i know animal crossing has nook mile achievements but these are things that people can see when they're looking at your profile, not in game. And I'm curious what y'all think. Do you think Animal Crossing or just Nintendo in general should start doing something like achievements? I would really like it because I think it's fun to showcase what all you've done in a game. And I would love to see kind of what my friends have done in game. Um, so it would be like, I don't know, completing the museum. That would be a fun achievement to get or whatever they are. And then once you've completed every achievement, then you get like an ultimate like check off that, hey, you've completed every achievement in this game. That doesn't mean you can't still play the game, but you've beat it, success. You've beat it to its completion. I think that would be really fun. And I think Nintendo could do such a good job of doing something like that if they took the time to do it. They could really have it be specifically branded for Nintendo stuff. Um, they could even go all in and like brand it specific to each franchise, like Animal Crossing and Mario, Zelda, Kirby. Uh, they could have a bunch of cute stuff associated with that. I think it sounds fun. Will they ever do it? Probably not, but it's fun to, it's fun to speculate, you know? I think sometimes people get frustrated with speculation stuff, but I think it's so fun. I like to think about what could come about. What could we have? How far could things go? Um, so that's fun. Also, I would love to know who has been playing Dinkum? Because I have. <laughs> this is just a chit chat video. We're just we're just chatting about everything. I've been playing Dinkum. It's only on PC. I've been getting that question a lot. Uh, where can I play it? It's only on PC right now on Steam. It's in early access. It's so fun though. It's so fun. So if you have a gaming laptop or just a computer that can handle gaming, highly, highly recommend playing it. I've done a couple streams on it. If you want to go check out some gameplay, uh, but it's really good. 
It's really good. I'm excited to play more of it. And I would also love to know who is still playing Animal Crossing every day. I don't think I play every day at this point, but I play probably five days a week. Now I do have the benefit of streaming it, so that's something, but I'm still playing very consistently. I feel like I'm seeing more and more people kind of fizzle out and I would love to know, I'm posing so many questions, I'm sorry, but I would love to know what could bring you back what kind of stuff would bring you back to the game? Is it a certain design challenge? Do you think if you were inspired by something enough, you would come back? Do you want to reset your island? Is that enough to bring you back? Or are you just done? Like if you're not playing anymore, are you just done? Do you still enjoy watching other people play it? I feel like that's a lot of people. A lot of people still like to watch other people play, but they just don't have any interest in playing themselves. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm doing another island right now that is a pastel Halloween island, which I'm really enjoying designing for that one. I think that's the most fun thing for me right now is, whoops, coming up with an island theme that's unique, but still, feasible to cover an entire island. I feel like that's difficult to do because if it's too niche, if it's too specific, it's hard to make a whole island because you're so limited on the items. But the pastel Halloween, I feel like is broad enough. I'm really using a lot of bunny day items as well. Um, but it's broad enough that I feel like I can have a lot of different areas with no issue. Cause you got the Halloween stuff you can do. You can even just do like a pastel, anything. Like it doesn't have to all be themed because the way I'm kind of imagining it in my head is, okay, this is a town first. It's my village first. And then they're kind of like decorating for Halloween. It's not like a Halloween specific. Does that make sense? Like I could go and take down all of the Halloween stuff, replace it with other stuff, and it would still work. That's what I'm going for. There will be some Halloween specific stuff. Like I do wanna have a spooky forest again, similar to my last island, but it's not all. Is that a frog? Cute. Okay, we're gonna sell all of this. And then I guess I will drop some bells for him at the end, because I feel like he earned this stuff. I did see a bunch of stuff dropped over by resident services that I feel like we could go grab. Just a bunch of stuff, I hope. Oh, well, he will be at the point now where he can put stuff in storage in his house. So that'll be good. That was one issue, is he didn't have any storage in his house. So we didn't have any place to put anything. So I just told him to put it all outside, <laughs> which is probably my fault. Okay, he's been chopping a lot of wood, it seems. Plastic pool, perfect. Oh, he really likes to buy the retro fans. I think he's bought multiple of those. He likes to show me everything that he does, everything that he's purchased. <laughs> and he also, he asks me every day if he can play Animal Crossing. He calls it Animal Crossings. Can I play Animal Crossings? Um, which is really cute. I love it. Um, elephant slide, kid's tent. Oh, he must have picked up that elephant slide. I, what has he been doing? <laughs> and he buys a lot of axes too. Okay. Oh my gosh, so much wood. And he hasn't even picked any of it up. Aiden, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't wait to see what his island ends up looking like because it's gonna be the ultimate disaster. I think I'll probably use in-game paths for his island. And I think I'm gonna put 
the shopping district kind of like right at the front. I want everything to be super easily accessible on his island so he knows exactly where to go. He placed a fishing rod right here. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's a good start on cleaning up everything. All right, I think that's good. We still have some wood over there. Let's see if I can pick that up. He had to plant all those flowers right here because he had to get the Nook Miles for planting flowers. He has the Nook Miles Plus now. Okay, and then here's his cute little house. Oh my goodness. He needs to do the DIY workshop because he can't learn DIYs yet. But I feel like we, we cleaned up a little bit. It's hard to do stuff like that in a short amount of time. Um, but I did pose a lot of questions. I would love to hear any and all of your feedback, especially about the future of my son's new island that we're going to be creating for him. I would love to hear any and all feedback about that. Thank you so much again to glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's video. Like I said, their information will be listed down in the description. So please be sure to check that out. And I hope y'all enjoyed this just chit chat video while we looked at the demolition and destruction of my current island. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.